Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is King of the Hill. We are on Inspections, Episode 10. So no battles in this, except for the combat testing. And just going to take a look at, uh, we have the Ho Project Horizon, the Doom Guppy, the USS Stuck on Back, and the, oh, I guess Glittervolk. Glittervolk is in this one. Is that right? I thought it wasn't until... Oh yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it is in that one. So first we have the... I'm not even going to attempt the Russian. But uh, Project Horizon by another chap. Load this in. Came in right at uh, 110. Is a submarine. With some pause action so we can take a look at it. Very nice design, very clean, clean lines. Doesn't look like any conventional submarine that I know of, but it still looks believable. Like I could I could see this being well maybe without the guns. <laughs> something that uh, you might see in the uh, the real world. Very nice. A little bit sketchy with the uh, the dead of blades, but I'll allow it. Got lots, lots of dead of blades. This thing should be really fast for a sub. It's the hydrofoils as well. looks like a gun or something. Oh, it's got the lambs in there. Okay. Missile tubes and some cannons at the back. Let's go ahead and... Oh, missed it. Let's take a look. Yeah, 36 meters a second underwater is pretty good. Are torpedoes? I imagine yeah, torpedo probably yeah, really. Three torpedo probably just gonna be very fast torpedoes. It looks like fragment and explosive on these. I like how they're kind of stacked crosswise, one going one way, one the other. Get uh, a longer torpedo that way. Oh, didn't bring bring that up. There we go. See the lambs here. Got the laser parts for that. Actually, it looks like a fairly large lamb system, so it should be decently powerful. Two eight hundred energy doesn't. Well, maybe you have to look at the actual lamb piece to get the damage. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, this actually. Okay. Oh, and the simple. That's it. Simple weapon lasers in here. So this will shoot the uh, the bottom out of any uh, boats that get close or ward off any enemy submarines that venture too close. How does that work? It looks like those are pointing right at... Oh, there must be some trickiness. It's supposed to like lift up and out, I'm guessing. So some fancy spin block action happening there. Let's look at the uh, the hull itself. It's like two layers of metal all around, and then heavy armor over important bits. <laughs> yeah, look at this is. If this goes up, it's pretty much game over. But uh, yeah, like two layers of metal, a gap, and then two layers of metal on the sides in a layer of metal and heavy armor on the top. So it's gonna be hard to detonate that. It's gonna take several several shots to get through. It's an interesting setup for the engines. Injector engines. And then wedged in here slice wise. And then these injector engines as well. Yeah. Lots of redundant engines in another big ammo store. So plenty of ammo to supply the guns and the missiles. 
hydrofoils for control AI bits right here at the end and some rudders all right let's take a look at the guns 500 millimeter and size three meter yeah three meter loaders and what kind of shells frag so three meter 500 or 500 millimeter three meter long frag shells should be fairly potent like just the same turret again yeah it looks like just a, a mirror or a copy of the uh the other turret Wait, is this going oh no it's up it's going on the turret Never mind. i thought it was going backwards for a second but i was just looking at the arrow for the turret and what are these are pins just one frag and a bunch of i wonder if that was intentional to have these fins at the front as well. Maybe just really maneuverable missiles, but it seems like those should be uh, frags. I wonder if that was a misclick somewhere along the way, because two fins on such a short missile should be funny. But who knows, maybe it's some uh, new uh, meta that I am not aware of yet. Certainly is an interesting meta with the anti-missile missiles and uh, with TPG, um, uh, who was it that was posting videos of it? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. Let's say friends, friends 19, I think was posting some videos on that. But uh, really cool effects uh, with that. Check it, check it out um, if you haven't. Uh, really, really effective anti-missile setup. But uh, I think that covers it. This is the Project Horizon by another chap. Let's do the combat testing. Oh, we should change the map. Here we go. Very nice. The torpedoes circling around. The cannons fire. Cannons taking aim and start starting to fire. Oh, it's so submarine versus submarine battles. It's so hard to uh, basically have to watch from like way up here like this. Otherwise, you just can't see them. But unfortunately, when that happens, we can't really see what's going on. We see the, uh, the lamps. The lamps firing. Taking out a few torpedoes, but uh, not all of them. Yeah, definitely landing. though look at those, uh, that repair right back up all right that is the project horizon by nutter chap let's get the next entry in here hopefully we can get this video done in under an hour next up we have the doom guppy by blothorn coming in right at the limit as well What the hell is that? <laughs> wow, that is crazy looking. Sounds 
like it's shooting itself. I wonder if that's gotta be smoke. Watching shooting smoke inside the hall. What a crazy looking design. Let's we'll take a look at the hull itself first. We have an outer layer of metal and then several layers of stone and then more metal in the middle. Wow, lots of armor here at the front. Metal, stone, stone, metal, metal, ERA, metal large chunk of ammo, regular amount of ammo, and huge engines, look at all these engine parts in here, that will be powering those lasers we saw, and uh, not all that large of a, uh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, stacks, several layers, so we got quite a bit of lasers as well, it looks like the main weapon is the lasers, and you can see they are on really long turrets. Now, this is actually a really good idea. So it puts the, uh, the firing pieces up above the water where they're not going to suffer from uh, damage loss. If you shoot under the water you get a lot of damage loss from the laser beam traveling through the water. But this uh, solves that problem and let you do the, the defense of a submarine. Oh, not sure what's going on here. I'm just glitching out because there's no enemies around. And what is that firing? It's got to be smoke. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, smoke. So self-smoking with the guns. It's a good idea. I'm going to be very resistant to laser fire. Not a lot of... Uh, Propellers, though it's going to be somewhat slow, It'll make it more vulnerable to torpedoes. I'm not sure if it has. I didn't see any lamps. And look at all of these. Are these torpedoes or missiles? Screen rider, APN, dual fuel, frag, thumper head. So a combination: torpedo propellers, rear wing thrusters, APN. What an interesting, very interesting missile. Very long. All, all fragment head, fragmentation head and thumper. Laser beam rider. I mean, looks like it only has the laser beams on either side. They're kind of out here. Some are vulnerable. I think those, that might be a weak spot in the design. One, one of the few. Is, uh, getting these clipped will uh, make the missiles somewhat useless, or basically pretty much entirely useless. But uh, I don't, I don't know how how difficult that's going to be to do. Yeah, that's some serious telephone poles there. Wow, it's really, really curious to see how this performs. This is such an unusual design. It's one of the things I love the most about the. Uh, Propane or King of the Hill, whichever you want to call it. You should just get some really off the wall stuff. Lots of shielding, looks like. Three layers all across the front. And no, no shielding at the back. All of it is focused at the front. So this is going to work. I'm guessing this is going to work almost like a forward broadsider. But uh, obviously not in the air it's gonna it's gonna be a submarine cool cool all right let's uh do the battle so we have the doom guppy by blawthorn and we'll see how it does i imagine the lasers are gonna do nothing given the depth and the smoke and the uh Torpedoes are going to absolutely wreck. See the lasers firing, but it's all underwater shots and through the smoke. They, it's not, I don't even think it's doing any damage at all. But uh, the torpedoes should do some damage. Oh, 
surprisingly little damage given how large and how many torpedoes there are there. They're definitely getting below the uh, damage threshold. Yeah, wrecked. Wow. That was intense. Alright, that is the Doom, Gu Doom Guppy by Bluffhorn. Let's go back to the main menu, get the next vehicle. Alright, the USS stuck on back. I think this is Thompson's. 99% sure this is Thompson's. But he didn't put his name in the, uh, is it on the, uh, no, I didn't put it here either. Oh, nice. <laughs> actually swims. This is awesome. Just awesome. Oh, there's a little little boat that comes help. <laughs> that must be the um, spawn stick. Oh wow, those are some those are some big shells. Holy jeez! Yeah, eight meter long. Those must be feeding these guns here. I thought these were crams. How big the uh, the barrels were. That's just the bore of activators on the end. Yeah, 500 millimeter. And uh, 8 meter shells. Oh boy. Squash head. So, squash head is that heat? I always mix it up. There's like squash head, and yes, shape charge is the hash. So, it's gotta be heat. Uh, just, they're so big. That's just way too much shell. <laughs> Take a look at the armor. It looks like two layers of metal and then heavy armor around the important parts. Wood here and there. Some stone. Stone insulating the AI from EMP. Some torpedoes, down, downward launching torpedoes looks like. Yeah, torpedo sonar. Torpedoes coming out the bottom. And ammo in the heart. Not a lot of ammo, so this must be using... Ah, uh, I guess there's there's more there than I thought, but still. For how big, the, how big the guns are, I don't know if that's enough for just passive regeneration. Uh, it could be. I guess it could be. That is all for the turtle itself. Let's take a look at the uh, the battleship stuck on the back here. This looks like mainly, yeah, basically just decorative. Has some auto cannons. These missiles or flares here. Frags, frag missiles, tucked away nicely, hard to see. Very cool, very cool design. Lots of really unique entries this time. So we had some pretty unique ones last time as well. Very cool. All right, let's do the combat trials with those guns. I don't think. I think this step is uh, purely academic because we know we know what's going to happen. Oh, I don't. That's a little bit. It's a little bit cheaty. Is the spawn stick? Yeah. You, I might actually delete the spawn stick as it's. All it seems to be doing is pushing the uh, the turtle closer 
which is against the rules. Yeah, I'm going to delete the spawn stick and just use the uh, the turtle itself. Uh, if you read, if you double check the rules, um, you can change your orientation, but you cannot shorten the uh, the spawn start distance. So let's go ahead and get the get the fight underway. <laughs> Yeah, those are some big, big guns. Some missiles just for flavor. A little bit of spice. Turtle staying at the surface. That's surprising. I thought it was going to be a submarine. It looks like it is a surface ship. I thought those guns were going to end the, the, uh, the battle extremely quickly, but uh, the uh, stock on back is surviving, surviving those shells quite well. Testament to its mighty turtle armor. Entries are both uh, clones out of materials, so it should just be a second until one of them drops below 95%. satisfies the uh, combat requirements and yeah I'm just gonna make that change right now yeah I'm just not even gonna worry about that thing we'll just go here and I 90% sure I'm just gonna double check and see if this was Thompson's I know I saw it in the thread. Yeah, that is Thompson's. Okay. Final vehicle of the episode 
is the Glitter Volk, the Thundercloud by myself, the Jimmer, and then right at the limit for a Thruster Craft. I want to spawn this lower. Alright, here we go. Jump to it. Not quite as fast as my last entry, but still very speedy. Up to about, uh, it actually goes a little bit faster when there's enemies around, up to I think about 170 meters a second. I think the, uh, what was the name of my last entry? I can't think of it right now. Oh yeah, this, the stratosphere. The stratosphere I think went like 180 plus. This one goes about 170 top speed. It does have, actually has uh, more jet engines. Oh, this is, okay, let's change. There we go. Third time's a charm. So you can actually see what's going on. It has uh, three custom jet engines that make up the, the bulk of the internals. Uh, very large jets. Let's see, they are producing, each one is producing 170,000 uh, output, 170,000 thrust, sucking down uh, almost 5,000 fuel per, per minute. It costs a lot to go fast, but uh, as we saw with Stratosphere, um, going fast is really effective defense. Um, actually, no missiles on this one, though. Decided to go with uh, cannons and lasers instead. Let's see, I've got some uh, injector engines, side-by-side -side injector engines here. And they're putting out um, 20,000 max power each, just under that, actually. A uh, terrible power for fuel. <laughs> But uh, I mean that's that's what you, that's what you get with uh, injectors. I suppose I could have used uh, better engines, but uh, I was just kind of lazy and uh, and rushed. I'm trying to get this in before the deadline. And then uh, has a powerful laser system, mostly for the lambs. Where is yeah? We're, so we've got uh, 650 pulse damage, 100 AP, probably overkill on the AP. But uh, it was, it just fit in there. I, I just wanted to make it nice and flush. Um, got lots of wings here um, near the top. It actually has enough to keep it airborne um, down to uh, 100 meters a second. So I don't need as many uh, down thrusters that way. This is a combination of ailerons and. Uh, thrusters for control. AI is in the rear. Or at least the uh, main AI components and then there's some uh, mainframes just kind of scattered around for redundancy. A uh, decent, decent number of repairs. I think that, oh and the, uh, the armor is, uh, it's better than the stratosphere but it's still pretty light. Um, about two layers of metal, two or three layers of metal um, all the way around. And the, uh, the front maw of the beast is uh, designed to um, reduce drag. And uh, the lambs, lambs all the way around. Going for fairly powerful lambs this time. Let's see if that pays off. And let's check out the turrets. So we've got three uh, cannon turrets. They are, I think, 422 mil 456 millimeter. And then uh, four meter shells. These are almost identical to the turrets that were on the stratosphere. Uh, made a few tweaks, uh, switched the shells around. And uh, yeah, so we've got uh, three different shells. We've got Sabo, Frag, and AG. Um, each, I think each turret shoots all three. Or maybe I did one per turret. I can't remember now. Yeah, no, each each turret shoots uh, a, a mix of the uh, different shell. Oh, excuse me, different shells. Just uh, throw everything at the barn door and uh, see what sticks. 
not not super super powerful turrets, but there are three of them, so it gives a uh, a decent amount of damage. The uh, ejectors on, on the uh, outside as well for survivability, and then finally we have a laser turret. Um, this basically just fires the the lambs beam when uh, there's no missiles around. When there's missiles around, this is disabled. And then just a uh, single layer of shielding for the most part all the way around. Overlaps in places so you get uh, two layers. Um, all all uh, reflect shielding just to uh, give a little bit of survivability but uh, still somewhat vulnerable to shells relying on the speed for defense. But I think that uh, basically covers it. This is the Vitervolk by myself, the Jimmer and we'll do the combat trials. All right, and here we go. Firing the laser, firing in the, uh, the cannons. See the lambs taking out those shells when they get close. keeping these guys alive for the time being but uh, those resources will run out pretty quick and then we should see one of them get disabled it does have large ammo stores all uh, passive ammo regeneration so uh, it is vulnerable to detonation Usually one of them blows up by now. Just waiting for that lucky shot that uh, detonates the ammo. May have to wait for the resources to run out. Actually, DQ. That's unfortunate. Oh, we'll do that. We'll run that one more time. Because I don't want to. And the uh, the DQ doesn't really count as uh, being able to defeat itself.
damage to the, uh, the engines causing it to drift. Hopefully it finishes, one of them drops before it queues again. Damn it. Well, that is really annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more chance, and then I might actually have to DQ my own entry, which would be really frustrating. seconds of disqualification time, 95.2, 94.7, all right, so I'm going to count that, I don't know, I know it is, it's a little bit sketchy, I usually try and uh, spend a lot more time testing, but uh, being a rush at the end of the tournament, I really didn't have time to optimize, you really should just go into the AI settings and uh, turn the uh, the turning a little bit. I actually might do that. It'll make it less effective, but uh, I, just just so nobody thinks that I am being too cheaty with rules, I, I really try and make sure that uh, being my entries are in here, that I am extra, extra, you know, inside the rules and uh, not pushing them. Alright, so, I mean, that's basically it for the episode. You don't have to watch this anymore unless you want to see what I'm going to do. Oops. Just going to go in here and uh, tighten up the, uh, the turning. Aerial AI. Turn this to like 62. There we go. Did not mean for this video to go so long. Um, I might actually edit out part of the. Oh, I just hate hate editing it out because then people are going to think I'm cheating, which I most certainly am not doing. Looks like the engine got taken out. Yeah, Shell got in there and uh, damaged the engines. Possibly took out the AI. It's not the mainframe, so it'd be uh, despawning, but uh, maybe the AI cards or something. Either way, there we go, down below 95% in the time limit. I'm counting it. But uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give me that thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.